Aloha family, this is a short video on why DistroKid is actually not that great. Okay, I've been on CD Baby since 2011, 2012. Got a few albums up there, they're doing pretty well. Super satisfied with all of CD Baby services. DistroKid seems like an amazing deal, $20 a year. And you can post unlimited songs, they'll distribute it to iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Spotify, 100 other stores you've never heard of. Everywhere it needs to go, literally, they'll put it there for you. So that sounds great, right? Of course. Got me to sign up. <laughs> However, there's one thing that they don't tell you. And that's that if you want to add, say, a single to Content ID, YouTube's Content ID that fingerprints your song digitally and allows that song to be monetized if it's used in anyone else's video. They'll scan for it on YouTube scans every video for uh, digitally copyrighted music. And in order to get your music into that system, which literally I've made more money from folks using my music and my band's music in YouTube than from sales. So it can, someone could put your music in a 30 minute long video for 15 seconds and that video could get a million hits you're gonna get usually a hundred percent of the royalties you know p potentially <clears throat> it depends they might have other music in there that's also copyrighted or whatever so there could be a split depending on many factors but content ID is super important in this age of YouTube you know people have hit me up they're like yo I love your music can I use it in my video I'm like yeah sure go right ahead <laughs> you know do that please I hope your video blows up so for distro kid it's an additional five dollars per single per year so that's like a whole nother subscription. Every single you want in Content ID, you're gonna have to pay them $5 a year for them to put it in Content ID, that's crazy. Whereas on CD Baby, it's like $10 for a single, might be 15 if you need to, for them to assign you a UPC or whatever. But then you get Content ID for life. I've got albums up from 2012. That have been on Content ID. I don't have to worry about it. So I try to cut back on subscriptions whenever I can. And for that reason, I cannot use DistroKid for all of my releases. <clears throat> Literally, I don't want to be paying them $5 per single 10 years down the line for Content That's crazy. So basically, I'm using DistroKid since I'm already signed up. Just to be prolific, like they say, you know, and release music that I like. And the music that I really like, I re I'm going to, my plan is this, to re-release it on, in another system that gives me, you know, that has content ID included. Most likely I'll use CD Baby. So definitely take this into consideration. If you feel as though the music you are putting out is going to become popular, meaning you believe in yourself and you're doing your best job to put out something cool, definitely consider using one of the other services that has content id included so that's about it other than that you know distro kid is great they get your songs out super quick faster than all the others that i've used i've only really used cd baby but it's much faster than cd baby as far as getting your content to spotify and <clears throat> and apple music you can post your own music to youtube i mean they do that for you they'll post your content on YouTube, but it's like, bro, you can use audio ship and audio ship.io and put your content, just the audio on, you know, with the image on YouTube in like 60 seconds. So that's not even really helping you. Um, so that's my advice to you or the information I wanted to share with you about DistroKid. And I was super excited about DistroKid until I found that out. So yeah, I hope this helps you be epic, make great music, and thanks for listening. Peace.